Hey friends, this is Brian from This Is Tech Today, and I'm here to review the Uppercase Premium Ultra Thin Keyboard Protector for the MacBook Pro. There are two versions out there, one for the touch bar and one with the function keys. For this video, I have the one with the touch bar. Now having a keyboard protector is really helpful for a couple of reasons. The first one is to protect your keyboard itself from things like grease and dirt and getting underneath the keys, and it can really help you from preventing that whole kind of shiny, worn down look on the keys. The second thing, and I think this is even more important, is it actually prevents your screen from getting kind of messed up. I don't know if you've had this happen before on a previous MacBook Pro, but the keys themselves, if they don't have a protector on there, will rub against the screen and that can end up creating scratches on the screen. Now that can be a really big deal because that's what you're looking at all the time. And a big motivation for me having a keyboard protector is also maintaining the resale value of my laptop. Fortunately, Apple MacBook Pros retain their value quite well, but if you haven't taken care of your laptop, it can really affect the resale value. Value. Recently, I sold one of my old MacBook Pros. I had a keyboard protector, I had a case, and I had a skin on it, and it really looked brand new. And because of that, I was able to sell it for a few hundred dollars extra. Just investing maybe a hundred dollars or less in terms of accessories was able to increase the value of my computer. So let's take a look at this protector. It is a clear matte finish design. It's incredibly thin. It's actually thinner than the cardboard box that this is stored in. I mean, look at this. It's so thin that it's almost not even there. This also comes with a couple of little stickers on it to hold the keyboard cover in place, but in my experience, it was actually really hard to get the keyboard cover off on its own, so I'm not really sure if you actually need these. I have a really hard time getting my fingernail underneath it just to remove it. Now the matte finish has me a little bit worried about whether or not I'll be able to see text or like the numbers underneath it well, but I'm holding it up here against a, a couple of pieces of paper and it doesn't look too bad. It does make it a little bit more faded looking, but overall, it's it's not bad. So this is what it looks like in the dark when you have your keyboard lights all the way up. It looks pretty clear to me. And for sure, it'll definitely look sharper once you take off the keyboard cover. Now here's what it looks like when the lights are on. Now it's a very different story. It, it does really make the keys look faded quite a bit. So while it does kind of give it a little bit of a washed out look because of the matte finish, I like it way better than having it all glossy. I think that would end up looking kind of tacky and weird. And I made a mistake when I was installing this keyboard cover. I cleaned my keys beforehand and instead of letting the cleaning solution dry from the keys, I put the keyboard cover on there. I think it kind of created a, a bit of like a weird haze on top of the already matte finish on the keyboard cover. So my suggestion is clean your keyboard before you install the protector and then let it dry. Let it dry really, really well and then put the cover on. In terms of feel, it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel overly spongy like some other keyboard protectors. The plus side of the new MacBook Pros having very little travel is that keyboard protectors don't have that spongy feel as much. So what are your thoughts? Do you use a keyboard protector? Leave a comment below and I'd love to interact with you and hear what your thoughts are. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.